So for those that have been watching our videos for a while, knows about this pile of lumber. We got these frames from a local business and they were just putting out pallets of these things. We went in and we snagged them up, as many as we could. We've used some for the ceiling for our shed, little projects here and there, but now these things are gonna become priceless. They are a bit weathered from the sun and the rain and the wind, but I think they'll still be good enough for what we need. And we are gonna need quite a bit of wood for this project. Not nearly as much as, let's say, building a timber frame house, but we're still gonna need a bunch of wood to make cleats, just these little wood pieces that get sandwiched in between our bags that we'll be able to nail things onto. Uh, we're gonna need them for shelving. We're gonna need them for making the forms for our windows and doors. And those things will be reusable. So it's gonna save us a lot of money. Instead of having to buy a bunch of plywood, we can utilize this resource, stuff that was gonna get thrown away, and we can use it to help build our house. I think that's gonna be amazing. Man, we're getting so close to our build. I'm getting nervous. But we got so much to do before that happens. Right now, I'm about to start making the forms for the house. I need to build these forms to put them in the places of where we're gonna be putting doors, windows, in order to keep the bags from pushing in too far. You know, sort of like little placeholders. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna try and build this out of as much used material as I can. I got tons of pallet wood, tons of these wood frames. I think I have enough wood to build some strong, sturdy forms. I'm gonna grab some of this wood. I'm gonna start building. Yeah! All right, so what I'm looking to do is create two half circles from this plywood that I had lying around. So I cut it into a three foot by three foot piece, found the center point, and I'm gonna put a nail in the middle of the board so I could create my perfect circle. All right, now I got me my perfect circle. But before I cut this in half, there's something I gotta do. <laughs> Maybe that's enough of that. Woo, look at that moon, y'all. Impressive, isn't it? It looks more impressive in person, but pretty cool. Bling! <laughs> Alright, back to work. Now we got half moons to go with our full moon. Yeah! All right, so I'm in the process of cutting wood. I cut out a bunch of two by fours at three foot lengths. And then I'll be cutting this pallet wood at three foot lengths and then some slightly longer pieces. I'll show you how it all goes together. All right, flip it around, put one on the other side. Already feeling solid, I love it. I'm gonna put a two by four board here along the length of the pallet wood to support that. It's coming together, yeah! Hit this other side before flipping it over. Ooh, coming together real nice. All right, this is feeling pretty solid. I'm just gonna put a few more boards, evenly space them around the sides. I'm gonna add a couple more two by fours to each side of this. I'm gonna put them approximately nine inches on center. Then I'm getting close to being done. All right, now that I got the ribs in place, I'm gonna put boards along the edges for kind of like a little skin. 
Now they also suggest you can use like a flexible plywood, but I don't really want to spend the extra money. So I'm going to use the pallet wood boards and make my skin that way. All right, so if you guys didn't know, we got new chickens. We need your help naming them. We're not sure what to name them. Otherwise, they're gonna have names like this. Creamhead. Grayhead. Stripey neck. Less stripey neck. <laughs> and big comb. So if you're cool with those names, just let us know, but otherwise <laughs> give us some suggestions, put those down below. <laughs> This right here is gonna be so important for getting our windows in. We definitely need spacers for the bags. Okay, everything looks good. All my measurements are locked in. This is coming together real nice. I'm liking how this is turning out. There you go. Get in there. Get in there. Get up on in there. Huh. Pounding them nails in, pounding them nails in. If it ain't tight, it ain't right. Solid. Ow. Yeah. Loving it. All right. Now I gotta figure out what's next. Stay tuned to GDP, because GDP is gonna tell you how to put together boxes, y'all. <laughs> now for my next trick, I need some cross bracing between the two sides that I built. This should be. I get this piece off exactly the right size. There we go. Like our glove. Throw a couple nails in there, we should be all good. Okay, now I'm gonna get. Oh, hey, there you are. Okay, now I'm gonna get some diagonal bracing going across the sides and shore things up. Oh, I am loving this. Look, nice and sturdy. Be able to slam some bags against this thing for sure. Yeah! All right, now the next thing I wanna make is a strip anchor. Super simple. Usually you can do this with plywood. We got a ton of this. So I had some leftover one foot two by four and some extra pallet wood. So then I'm just going to uh, attach it and then I'll have my first strip anchor. These things uh, are gonna be super helpful. They go just about everywhere in the build. Anytime you wanna attach something to the earth bags, uh, you want some, some wood behind it. Strip anchor, ready to go! <laughs> now just about 100 more of these to make. Here it is. The finished product. Woo! I cannot wait to try this out. Man, I feel like these are super solid. It's gonna be so incredibly important. Look at that. All from uh, repurposed material, pretty much. I'm loving it. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I still have to build another one of these window things for our first dome. And then I think we can reuse these, so I should only have to build one set. And I still gotta build something for the door. Oh, it's gonna be so much work to do, not to mention these things. But these things I can kind of build as I go along. 
and uh, I'm trying to just trying to get away with having to buy as little wood as possible. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you on the next video, everyone. Bye.